Welcome to the program. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you for joining us today here on Health Professional Radio. Now, there are a lot of excuses for not exercising. Whatever your excuse may be, our guests here today are here to dispel some of the myths and some of the reasons why we don't exercise in an attempt to um, get the word out about how easy it is to get fitter faster. Our guest is Dr. Robert Davis, Ph.D., an award-winning health journalist, and Brad Kolowich, Jr., certified personal trainer. And they're going to talk with us about their book, Fitter Faster, the smart way to get in shape in just minutes a day. Welcome to the program. Great to be with you. Thanks for having us. Great. Great. Now, um, uh, Dr. Uh, Davis, uh, you're a, you're a Ph.D., um, a health journalist. Have you always been a health journalist? Have you ever, you know, taught PE or coached a team or how, how did you get wrapped up in, um, health journalism? Is it via sports or just uh, interested in good health all around? Well, it's really, it's really just my interest. You know, I've, I've long been interested in health personally. Um, and I have a background, as you said, in public health. I have a PhD in public health. So I have academic training in public health. Uh, and so that has really informed the work that I do because a lot of my work has looked at various claims uh, regarding health and trying to look at the science to dissect the science behind those claims and, and lay it out in an objective and, and honest way so people can make more informed decisions just because obviously there's so much misinformation out there, so many claims that have to do with agendas that are often hidden. And so what I've tried to do, both in my work overall and this book, is to try to lay out the information as honestly as I can based on the science and so that people can make more uh, informed decisions and make and, and be healthier. Now, Brad, as a certified personal trainer, do you find the mindset different when you're on a personal level with someone, um, you know, as opposed to what uh, Robert was talking about is it the same for a personal trainer as far as some of those obstacles? In terms of, tell me again, obstacles in terms of? Well, the mindset, some of the, the excuses and, and reasons, barrier, that, um, some of these thing. barriers. You know, he's in, he's in public health. Um, you know, maybe the awareness has a different edge for him as opposed to your edge being, you know, hands-on with people dealing with their health on a personal level rather than dealing with the public. Right. Yeah. So, you know, some of the biggest things I've noticed just with my clients is just time, just finding time in the day, you know, whether it be carving out that, that 30 minutes out of their day. And so it's just finding a way to make that possible. And so, you know, what we've done in Fitter Faster and, and, and how I do a lot of my programs with my clients is creating these time efficient programs. So these programs that can be done. Um, and as little as 15 minutes a day. So, you know, including warm up and cool down, um, you know, a lot of circuit based training. So, you know, uh, compacting, uh, you know, multiple compound lifts into a program that can be done effectively in 15 minutes, you know, and also creating enjoyable programs and programs that, you know, you know, compacting exercises that, that, um, you know, that, that you feel, you know, based on the, the client's particular um, you know, personality is something that, that creates interest in them, and that varies, you know, based on the client after getting to know them. Um, a lot of variety, too, so just a lot of, you know, moving around, doing a lot of different things we've noticed, um, you know, works well. Um, and then, you know, preventing a program that's intimidating, too, so keeping it, um, you know, enjoyable and, and something that can be done, you know. So for somebody that's just getting started, you know, beginner, and just making sure there's a lot of very basic movements, um, but also, uh, you know, keeping them enjoyable, too. So enjoyment, is that the biggest part of Fitter Faster? Is that the smart way to get in shape, finding a way to enjoy it? You know, enjoying is big. I mean, you know, creating something that's enjoyable is important. And, you know, one thing we've done is we've created a lot of variety. And I think, you know, a lot of variety and a lot of, you know, different movements, I think, you know, it helps to keep it entertaining. You know, in our plan, you know, we've, we've laid out a seven-day plan. So it's, you know, two different strength training days. You know, with a variety of different exercises, eight different exercises. You know, we've created two different uh, high-intensity interval days, so, um, you know, a lot of variety there. One day is plyometrics, so a lot of different jumping around exercises that don't require equipment. So that's neat, too. And then we have a day that we put together that is um, a choice exercise day, so a day that, you know, you can choose the exercise. You can select one of the days of our plan or come up with something fun 
you know, whether it's out playing tennis or doing flag football or something there. And then we've also thrown in a rest day as well. You know, among those six days, you know, as, as intense as, you know, some of the days can be, you know, we feel that it's important that you earn that day of rest. And I, I would just add that it's so important, this is a key point, in terms of being able to choose activities that you like to do. You know, often people say, well, I don't like to exercise. I hate jogging. I hate being on the treadmill, so I don't exercise. Well, the truth is you don't have to jog. You don't have to be on the treadmill. If that's not your thing, that's okay. And so it's key. I think a key point is that there's choice and that you, you, you find activities that you actually will do because that's what this is all about. So if you like to dance, that's fine. You can dance. If you want to walk, if you want to hike, if you want to swim, if you want to uh, get on a piece of equipment at the gym, if that's your thing to go to the gym, you don't have to go to the gym, but if that's your thing, that's fine. So we try to design it in a way that you can find activities that you'll actually do as opposed to feeling you're forced to do something that you don't want to do. So let's say, um, you know, that that's a great thing, not doing activities that you, you don't want to do. But let's say your interests change. Uh, you, you become interested in, in going to the gym when normally you don't want to go to the gym. You don't feel like you uh, fit in at the gym. Does your book Fitter Faster offer, uh, I guess, a path in order to step into some of these things that may, you know, have formerly been out of a person's comfort zone? Absolutely. So, as you say, if you start our program and you don't want to go to a gym, if it's intimidating, that's no problem. All that we require is a set of dumbbells, you, and, and you can do this at home, and many of the exercises involve just body weight. But if you find over time that you're more comfortable going to a gym and you, and you want to step it up, uh, our program is designed so that there are intermediate and advanced kinds of exercises that, are, that you can do at a gym if you want. You can use the equipment of the gym if you want to do that. And I think it's important to know, too, that if you are already exercising, if you're somebody who's already got a plan, but, you know, you just want to step it up a notch, you want to add variety, you want to make it more comprehensive, maybe you're not getting the results you want, we've designed it for those folks as well so that they can take it to the next level. So, yes, the the answer is no matter what level you're at uh, and whether you like to exercise at a gym or you don't like to exercise at a gym, the program is flexible enough so it can work for you. So just how, um, I guess, how far-reaching is this uh, diversity in training? I mean, do you address the best time of the day to work out depending on a person's schedule or their um, their body makeup or their diet or, you know, whether or not an exercise is going to be an effective one for them in the long term? I mean, there are so many questions that can be addressed. Are most of a person's questions addressed with uh, fitter faster? Well, I would say that, you know, obviously we can't, and that's a great question. You can't, there are so many variables, and it's hard in a book for everybody to be able to address so many different things. But you, you raise an interesting question about time of day to exercise. For example, someone may say, well, I've heard I'm supposed to exercise first thing in the morning. That's when it's going to be more effective for me. Well, we part, part of the smarter, and the subtitle, The Smarter Way and Get in Shape, is we bust some myths and we look at the science behind certain things. And that's a, I'll just take, just to take that as an example, um, people hear they're supposed to exercise first thing in the morning because it will burn more fat or that or that, that will somehow be more effective. And what we find is actually uh, the science says that you actually uh, can have a more effective workout late in the afternoon, uh, that that can be a better time if you're looking for the, the optimal time when your body is going to do best, and we describe in the book why that is, in the late afternoon. But that's also to say that that's not convenient for everybody. A lot of people, that's not when they want to exercise. It's not when they can't exercise. So uh, the point is that we talk about uh, the ways to fit an exercise at whatever time of the day works for you. That's the best time to do it. But the point is that we lay out the science so that you know if you're looking for the optimal time to exercise in terms of when your body might respond best, then it is actually late afternoon according to what the science shows. What about um, getting fitter in your your older years? You know, some of us folks, um, maybe we were fit at once. And for whatever reason, you know, being in an office, whatever, after that, that Heisman Trophy that we won back in the day, <laughs> we want to get back into it. But, um, you know, we're not as toned. We're not um, maybe as able physically. We've had some surgeries or whatnot. What about um, fitness for us older folks? Well, you know, at any age it can be done. You know, I've worked with a variety of clients of all ages, shapes, and sizes, and everything in between. And, you know, I've worked with some some of the, the um, those that have done, you know, former Iron Ironman triathletes. So I've, I've worked with a guy in particular that did the Kona Ironman years ago and was once, you know, arguably one of the best athletes in the world. And then he came to me years later after getting married and having kids and, and I'll tell you, it was it was a mess in a way. I mean, he was, you know, it, it, the rest periods in between sets were extremely long, and and it, you know, he so coming back in, and you know, he's not that old of a gentleman. I mean, it, at this point, you know, he was I guess late 30s and now you know early 40s, and 
and um, or maybe even mid 40s at this point. But um, you know, for once being just an unbelievable athlete, and then you know, again taking some time away. Um, but now, I mean, again, he slowly getting back into you know first six to eight weeks, having to be extremely careful in terms of you know his bones, ligaments, joints and whatnot, but we were able to get him back to, to, you know, pretty incredible shape. And the same thing applies um, for an athlete. I work with a, a guy that former NFL athlete who was, you know, once probably one of the best uh, out there. And, and now, um, you know, and coming back in, you know, he um, is now just incredible and just able to, you know, again, after taking it out away just, just now um, at, at the top of his game, you know. So in terms of injuries, yeah, I mean, you know, we have to be careful certain movement patterns, you know, with, with these folks, you know, as they've aged in different um, injuries and whatnot. But, but it, can, it can be done, and you can, you know, and you have to be careful. There's a variety of different things, arthritis, you know, that you'll see and just, you know, um, whatnot. But, but it can be done, you know, if you're careful and you're, you're following the right patterns and, and doing everything, you know, based on science from, from what I know. And, um, you know, I've seen some pretty incredible things, you know, at later times of the year. And I'll give you one last example here. I have a guy that came to me for the first time, I guess, mid-50s, um, you know, had done some things like basketball and whatnot, but never really truly strength training. And it's unbelievable, you know, what he was able to do, um, you know, for the first time getting into strength training in, in his 50s. So um, it can absolutely be done at any age. So just because, you know, you're in your 50s, 60s, 70s or whatnot, doesn't mean you can't get in incredible shape. Now, we'd uh, like to get a, a copy of your book. Where can our listeners go and, and get a copy online? And uh, is it available at most uh, major outlets? The book is available, in fact, at most major outlets where, where you can buy books. Um, it's also available online from Amazon and other retailers online. Um, if you want to learn more, we have a website, uh, Fitter Faster Plan. Dot com and you can actually order the book from there. It, it directs you to various places to order the book and also has more information about the book, about us, and some videos, too. Great, great. Well, I thank both of you for talking with us today. Uh, Dr. Robert Davis, Ph.D., award-winning health journalist, and Brad Colwich, Jr., celebrity trainer and certified personal trainer, both of them talking about uh, their book, Fitter Faster, the smart way to get in shape in just minutes a day, available at most major outlets and online as well. It's been a pleasure talking with both of you today. Same to you, Neil. Thanks for having us. Thank you.